Hey, hello, hello, you guys. We are back again on our channel with another video today. And we want to thank you for all your subscribers and all the comments, comments and everything that you have done. We appreciate you all. We are so happy that you're with us. We are just wanting to give you an insight and a little a little idea of what we saw on our trip. Um, we have not done research on everything. Some of the things we have somewhat, but we stand to be corrected in anything that we put out. We are just giving it to you as we saw it. So Yes, well, yeah, thank you for being here. Uh, today's video is going to kind of be three things. We just want to try to explain what's going on so you can see as a viewer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to be spending time in the Mount of Olives. Now that is just below Jerusalem in the Kidron Valley. On the other side of the valley is the uh, Mount of Olives and the Church of the Nations. And it's where Jesus was agonizing and praying to the Father. That's what was happening when you see the Mount of Olives and the Garden of Gethsemane area. And then that will take us to our next step is where he was arrested. And if you read Matthew 26, I have some of that on our video. But in Matthew 26, it talks about Caiaphas' house. They took him there. They took him in a dungeon and tormented him, tied his hands and feet, and just beat him because he was called the Son of God. And the torture and the torment he went through. We're going to show you parts of that dungeon that he was in. I think our whole group came out of that place changed to know what Jesus really did for us. He went through that torment, that torture for all of us. He paid the price. Yes. And that's... We're going to show that. Then the last part of our today's video is going to be mostly about Lazarus' tomb. And it's a little bit how our tour guides took us through. Uh, but it was great. It was awesome. But on today's video, we're going to talk to you about the tomb and that Becky and I were in the tomb. And it was a great experience. But we're very happy, we're excited, but we're taking a lot of time to edit and try to get these videos and pictures together that make sense to you. So we hope you enjoy it. And we thank you again for commenting. We try to get back with you on that and liking and subscribing. Garden used to be bigger than this, so when uh, when Jesus was praying at a rock in the Garden of Gethsemane, he had 
the, uh, the people coming to arrest him, the soldiers, the Roman soldiers. So they came here, they arrested him, and uh, Judah kissed Jesus, uh, and that was the sign of, uh, of the arrest. So um, after here, uh, Jesus was escorted all the way up to the house of Caiaphas. So after that, when the Romans uh, destroyed the city of Jerusalem, all the olive trees that was on Mount of Olives were also cut. Is that a retaliation? Why were they cut? They were, it was because the Jews rebelled against the Romans, so they want to like destroy the city that they built. For them. Can you imagine the garden, the Mount of Olives, and in the background, the Eastern Wall of Jerusalem? Some of these olives, trees, are still from Jesus' time. They uh, are some from the same roots from 2,000 years ago. If you can imagine uh, walking through this place on a nice sunny day and noticing all the stonework, all the olive trees and just the flowers and the awesome presence of the people all speaking in hushed tones, realizing that this is the exact spot where Jesus spent some of his time praying for mercy from God that he wouldn't have to go through this suffering. And this is the same garden that he was arrested and taken captive. This is now the inside of the church that you've seen from the outside by the Garden of Gethsemane. This church is called the Church of All Nations.
excited for the fact that we are now on on the Mount of Olives that we saw from Mount Moriah from our last video and that the Garden of Gethsemane and the Church of the Nations is both sitting right on the Mount of Olives now looking from the other side uh, across the Kidron Valley onto the Jerusalem wall and I know you're seeing that dome there and and History is saying that that is built on the same rock that Abraham had a very close sacrifice of his son Isaac, which the Jews believe that, and the Muslims would say it was um, Abraham's other son, Ishmael. But I thought it's interesting to uh, bring you from the other angle, and that is also the lookout where we were that day, where you see it was windy and our hair was blowing, and we got pictures there, and we got to see from the east side all along there and the eastern gate going into Jerusalem and you can see the two sides of the city and the corner where I think there's a fortress on one of those corners. But that was so interesting to me to then see my husband in the other video he made on in the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus was, where you could see right straight up to the eastern gate. Yeah. and when you are up on that mountain and if those gates were open that you could have been able to see the gate beautiful that was the entrance to the temple if i understood that right no one knows through the storm like you do
Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, As you know, the Passover is two days away, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or there may be a riot among the people. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance right up to the courtyard of the high priest. He entered and sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death, but they did not find any, though many false witnesses came forward. <laughs> Welcome here to Bethany, the village of Bethany. I just took a video of the only live mustard tree in Bethany. So I hope you enjoy that. We have many more things to come today.
We don't want them to stay for days here. Take your time. Not four days. One, two. Look, 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 over there, look. See? His mother-in-law house. His mother-in-law house. Oh my god. Look too hard, you know, Terry. Us. Look, look, look. Because the only people who buy it, Americans. Only he and his family. Only Americans buy it. Yes. Oh, They're making that. Uh, what do you call that? Wool, uh, wool, goat wool. Goat wool. Do you not call those slingshots? What is it? Slingshot. Yes. What do you call that thing? In Arabic? In Arabic. Magleya. 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 So you didn't have enough of them made for us? No. Yesterday I sold around 25 of them. You sold 25 yesterday. And that sheep wool? Yes. This one, the colors are sheep wool. I didn't see any sheep yet. The wool here, the color. Yeah, that's nice. Yellow and white, it's sheep wool. Yeah. <coughs> and you make those, and you hit your mother-in-law's house. Yes.
from Bethany now heading to Jerusalem. And as we come in there, you will see the Muslim graves stacked up against the Eastern Wall and also a close-up picture of the Muslim graves. They are so different than what the grave was in Bethany. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Stop there. Let them off and they jump. They don't have anything from the main street. Thank you.